The Attorney General of Missouri is now trying to remove the Soros-backed DA in St. Louis, a woman called Kim Gardner, who has done so much to destroy that city. We hesitate even to show you this tape, but we feel duty-bound to do so because this murder in St. Louis says a lot about where our cities are tonight. Fox's Kevin Cork has it for us. Hey, Kevin. Tucker, it's not that crime hasn't always been a real problem in America's major cities. It has. I live here in Washington. I can attest to it. It's just that there's an increasing scale and scope and, frankly, the brutal nature that really shocks the senses, leaving citizens begging for help. And in some cases, Soros-backed DAs are facing increased uh, scrutiny and intense scrutiny at that. Take, for example, as you point out, that disgusting incident that happened in St. Louis yesterday outside the Globe building. In a video posted online, you see a guy by the name of Deshaun Thomas. He stands behind a homeless man sitting on the sidewalk, calmly loads his weapon, and shoots him at point-blank range. Witnesses suggest that the pair may have been fighting outside of a Shell gas station up the block moments earlier. Thomas was arrested a short time later at a library, though it's unclear if he was out on probation at the time or if he has a long rap sheet, probably, but we'll have to wait and see. So far, there have been 25 murders in the city already in 2023, leading to growing calls to oust Soros-backed attorney Kim Gardner, in part because of the number of repeat offenders committing violent crimes in the city. Now, you may have heard of this one earlier this month. A 21-year-old convicted felon by the name of Danny, uh, Daniel Riley struck a young volleyball player with his car, pinning her to the ground, robbing her of the use of her legs as a result. Critics say he should never have been out in the first place, and they are blaming Gardner for it. Tucker? Man, something is wrong for sure. Kevin yeah. Cork with that. Thank you so much. You bet.